What is it? <laughs> Manny, did you see uh, Keith's shirt? My colleague here asked him about his shirt. He put a game over and asked him if that was, was for you. Of course it is. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. The Pac Man game is over. Really? <laughs> I love it. I like that. Maddie, what do you think that you were the underdog leading up to the fight, but now you're in the favorite? What do you think about that? Um, well, um, I want to thank the fans for... Uh, Why guys? Working press, quiet please. Um, I want to thank the fans for trusting me. Um, yeah, I think it's it because of uh, of my hard work, uh, the way I I prepared for this uh, uh, fight. Um, I'm more motivated for this uh, for this fight. So this is different. Manny, uh, after the Mayweather fight, you're, you had a couple you know lackluster performances. Jesse Vargas and Jeff Horn, you know, they weren't norm your normal classy performances. What, what do you attribute that to? And how did you kind of get out of that little funk that you were in and, and get back to where you are now after beating Broner? Um, I think it's uh, just um, adjustment of, of the training. At a, at this age, I discover how you prepare for being uh, at this age. Um, that's that's I because I'm um, you know I'm a kind of uh, a boxer that I'm studying what what my body's reaction when we get this age and like that the way how you you work hard the way you train. Um, first of all, uh, for me, boxing is not just a training. Just a it's not just for a workout, but boxing is about um, hard work. When you talk about hard work, you punish yourself at, um, all the time, every day in, 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 at the gym. And hard work and also study your body, uh, how, how you get recover, get recover uh, at overnight. Sometimes we, when, what I discover, when I was young, um, I pushed like I did uh, 33 rounds, um, 30 rounds every day. At, in, um, at overnight, just overnight, and then you will recover the next day. But at this age, I I can say that when I push myself, uh, like doing 30 rounds, 33 rounds in a day, a workout. Sometimes overnight is not enough for body recovery. Uh, so the body is telling me, oh, I need more more time to, to recover, and then we can push again. Is that why you took more days off this camp? Then it seems like you've taken yeah, off a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. And that's what I did. Um, since starting um, Matisse fight, Broner, um, until now, that's uh, what I discover in, in uh, uh, I discover in, in boxing. But I'm not saying that you become you're going to be lazy in training. But I'm talking about hard work, focus. And if I'm talking about hard work, it's not like, like just training or simple training. It's a uh, hard work. Was well, that something that you came to stay active at 40? Because even though he's a younger fighter, you're the more active fighter. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you have one knockout in your last 10 years or so. There was talk of maybe as you got deeper into your religion that you lost your killer instinct and you didn't want to hurt your opponent as much. You just wanted to win the fights. Has that killer instinct come back? If you have Keith Thurman hurt, are you going to go for the finish? And can you, can you can Freddie attest to whether your killer instinct is returned also? I think um, my, my um, uh, team, coaching staff, uh, they're very happy because... Uh, uh, like I said, uh, you know, it's been a long time that I, I get motivated like this uh, in, in my career. So this one I kind of, kind of uh, I'm happy, enjoying, and um, doing doing this, especially in training. That's why, I mean, I don't care if I'm I, I'm I'm, I'm overtrained in training, but uh, good thing for for the coaching staff. Uh, they they watching me uh, not to train hard, uh, not to train, uh, not, not not to overtrain. Um, they they stop me uh, when they they saw that uh, it's uh, it's over and you know too much. What fights of Thurman have you watched that you were impressed by what you saw? Uh, but I think the the uh, Garcia. 
Garcia fight. What did he do in that fight? Was it his heart in coming back late in the fight, or what was it that impressed you? I think um, <clears throat> I think Garcia um, in me is different. So I, I saw um, a couple um, a couple of uh, weaknesses him there, uh, but <laughs> I will not. Did you see his fight with Sean Porter? Sean Porter, no. How about his last one against uh, Lopez? No, I heard about that, but uh, I didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, but he, knows he, he knows what he can do. He knows. He don't have to worry about. He knows what he can do. So he didn't worry about his opponent. What do you make of Keith Thurman? I don't want to watch that last fight because uh, if I'm going to watch that one and then become, uh, I'm, I'm going to underestimate him. <laughs> what do you make of Keith Thurman saying he was inspired by a performance against opponent? He's in, inspired? Yeah. yeah, he said he went one after you beat up on Broder last time. He inspired, inspired him. him. It's it's pretty hard. Hard. So he went to run at 1.30 in the morning. 1.30 in the morning. In the rain. He was impressed by He has to. He has to work hard. <laughs> Man, what do you... He's a fighter with really good movement. What do you, how do you deal with his movement? Is it important for you to get... Uh, I'm not worried about his movement. Um, I believe that I'm faster than him. I can move side by side. I can uh, box him, but... Uh, I don't think uh, if he's uh, uh, ready for uh, aggressive and a uh, uh, more body shot like that, um, that's... Uh, <coughs> How do you feel that his, his height and reach advantage uh, is going to play effect into the fight? Oh, that's that's uh, better for me because um, if your focus is a body shot, then uh, it's a good advantage because uh, he's taller than you. <laughs> taller than me, so... Man, you can take to say at this stage of your career, you've been looking for a challenge like this to motivate you. Like that, you like were lacking motivation, but you kind of looking for this mega. Yeah, fight like I this. mean, uh, that's good. That's good. I mean, I'm uh, happy with this, my opponent motivating me. <laughs> uh, historically, there haven't been a lot of forty-year-old or older fighters beating undefeated world champions. So, what would this win mean for your overall legacy? I mean, considering you already have one of the best legacies in boxing. It boxes. means a lot. It means it means a lot. Um, at being uh, uh, 40 years old, then you can you can be uh, undefeated, and also to show that uh, at age of 40 I can I can still fight, and and this is uh, gonna be add to my resume. Would you rank this as one of your more important wins in your career? You yeah, mean? yeah. Um, I I did. Uh, I consider this fight is um, one of the most important fight in my career because. Uh, um, at the age of 40, I, 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 have, I want to prove something, and then also uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, my opponent, uh, um, he's, uh, he's very good at talk, talking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, how would you write for his legacy if he wins this fight? Probably behind the Kodo and Ricky Hatton wins, probably up, up there with those. Barrera, Barrera above, above the first Barrera win. Man, do you expect uh, Thurman to trade with you a lot? He moves a lot, obviously, in, in his fights. Do you expect him to stand and fight with you, or do you expect him? You expect to have to chase him? Around? Yeah. He said he wants to trade with you. Oh, it's good. It's good. Because I'm small, it's big, so it's good for him. <laughs> 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 huh? Do you believe him though? Do you believe he'll actually want to trade with you? I don't think so. <laughs> man, man, it's pretty projected that, that uh, Keith would be 160 to 165 pounds. Does that, I mean, does, does that increase the risk when you do step inside? No, I'm not worried about that. I'm a fighter, so my focus is to fight. You talked about when you fought Margarito, who was a bigger guy, that you felt those punches for days afterwards. Keith Thurman might be as big as Margarito was when you fight him. How do you, do you does that fight with Margarito feel like, like prep, good preparation for being in with a big guy like this? That's good for me if he, he gain more weight because um, he's going to be uh, slow um, and my advantage for speed is um, one of the key in in in, in, in boxing. Uh, when you have speed, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, 
What is more important for you, your your foot speed and creating the angles to throw punches, or, or your hand speed, how fast you get them on? Both are coordinated. Um, foot speed and uh, hand speed um, should be coordinated. What do you think of uh, Pernell Whitaker passing away? He was the same height as you, won a lot of the titles, the same southpaw just like you. What do you think of Pernell, and how would that fight have went between you two? Uh, Pernell Whitaker, um, in fact, um, if, you don't, uh, if you believe me, uh, before when I started boxing, when I was young, I was uh, 13, uh, 15 years old, like that, and watching him fight, and especially the the, the very uh, good fight with uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Uh, <laughs> good fight. I, I, I saw him, I watched him uh, even in the Olympics. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it back when the Olympics. How old were you then? I mean, you were like 8 years old or something. I was um, 10, like that, 10, yeah. 9 years old. Who would have won in your class? <laughs> I don't know. He's fast, he's fast. <laughs> he's a Good fight. Freddie, who would have won? That's a footwork. <laughs> Speed and power. Speed and power. Have you noticed the killer instinct that being back? Because I remember you talking about you were kind of concerned about it years ago. He's a little angry, um, just like this point we're talking so much. But um, we've had, I think we've had our best training camp in, in, in like five, the, the last five or six fights. This training camp has been very good, and uh, he's in great shape, and we're, we're ready to go. So if he has Keith Thurman hurt, you, you don't have any concerns that he's not going to go in for the kill? And No, I think he will go. Manny, is there any one particular thing that Keith Thurman has said that has really bothered you more than other things that he has said? Um, sometimes, uh, I think uh, the one that gave me more, it inspired me, is, uh, motivate me, is uh, the one he said that um, he's going to crucify me. What? Crucify me. Was that, was that over? Why? <laughs> Why did that particular line bother you? I mean, um, well, I just want to prove something. I just want to, to teach him. I just want to teach him a, li a, a lesson. Did that? I mean, did the word offend you and your friend? You've, this is your 15th time fighting at the MGM Grand. You've had some of your biggest triumphs here and some losses, too. Uh, coming back here again for a fight of this magnitude, is it just like any other fight, or is there something special about it being here where so many of these fights have happened? Something, like Richard Stone. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> some, something special because... Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, to fight here is uh, at 40 years old, um, at 40 of age, uh, it's uh, one of a kind. I mean, uh, I've been in boxing more than two decades, and, and until now, I'm still here, um, keep keep on fighting. And I really love boxing, and you know, I'm I'm happy doing this, uh, enjoying, especially during training camp. Man, as soon as you get your hand raised on Saturday, well, when you look to unify the belts, it's like the winner of the Porter Spence fight later on this this year. Um, I'm going to watch that fight. <laughs> That's a good fight, also. You want to unify? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? I mean, you can do that. What do you think? We'll I will. I will. Uh, after this fight, I will focus more on training strategies and. Studying the, you know, it's like back is like also like a science, you know. You have to study. Not only you, not only studying and uh, when you have a schedule fight or, I'm studying of a uh, uh, boxing because uh, um, I'm planning to after my career I'm going to write a book like about, about boxing, how to prepare, and, you know, everything. Manny, when you are at home, do you watch fights? Like when you're not in training camp at your home, do you put fights on TV and watch fights a lot? You know, this is. Uh, uh, good thing. After my fight, I just tell you this. After my fight, like I don't have no boxing at all. No, no boxing at all. Like I don't go to the gym to train like that. But I work out almost every day, like four to five hours a day, playing basketball like that. Do you turn on on TV? Like where you watch a fight and next month where you put the TV on and watch a fight that's going on? So Watching the fight, of, yeah. Sometimes I watch the fight. If there's a good fight, and watch that. 
but I mean uh, going to the gym like training like that no no backing out so that's why if I have scheduled fight in I'm oh I'm hungry again <laughs> well, I'm curious then like so I grew up loving to watch Muhammad Ali fight like who do, who do you like to watch just for fun just because you're a boxing fan what fighter in the past or a current fighter have you enjoyed watching you know since 10 years old I've been watching fights uh, until now I still love like I don't know how many boxers I, I watched in, even before, way back in the 1990s. If you ask me, there, I watched Oscar De La Hoy, even starting in Olympics. I watched Roy Jones from Olympics to hung in, until, until to he became a champion. Uh, Roy Jones, um, watching Ty Tyson, George Foreman, uh, Bramble, uh, uh, Whitaker. Um, I watched that. And then um, the heavyweights before, is, the heavyweights is so big. Right before the heavy, which was so big before in time at the time of uh, Evander Holyfield, George Portman, Mike Tyson, uh, Larry Holmes, uh, Riddick Bow was one of you guys. Yeah, Riddick, Riddick Bow, like defense like that. <laughs> Riddick Bow, <laughs> you know that like this. <laughs> Riddick Bow, I, I saw that. Um, Julio Cesar Chavez, um, Obakar. I, I saw that. Rafael Anyone Ruiz, were your favorite? Two brothers, list? Rafael Ruelas and Gab Gabriel and Rafael. I, 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 I saw many, many fights. <laughs> that's how I, I love boxing. Your, your son that's starting to box, have you watched any of your fights? With, you know, is, the, is he interested in this, your career? This funny thing of my son. Okay. Every time I go to his room, I always, in, every time, I always saw him watching boxing much. My, my fights, he, he play over and over. A couple fights like that, he's always watching boxing. And I remember when I was young, <laughs> I saw a lot of, like I have a beaches, like before beaches, right? Beaches, like <laughs> dozen, dozen of beaches of fights. <laughs> you were a tape collector then. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so what, what's your son's favorite fight of yours? Um, I saw him, he's, he's always watching a Margarito fight, Goto fight, um, Hatton fight. Dila Hoya fight. Uh, I saw that um, sometimes Morales fight. Morales. What was your favorite fight of yours? Not only one. I have a lot. I like that. <laughs> but the, the good thing is uh, my favorite is uh, De La Hoya. Because De La Hoya is my, my inspiration in, well, in boxing when I start boxing. Even though uh, I, I beat him, but I, I still uh, look up to him because um, he's a good... He, a good good fighter. Freddie said when you came into his gym, you showed him the fights of you getting knocked out. What was, what was the mindset behind that, showing him your losses when you wanted him to train you? Yeah, it's just uh, to learn, you know. To learn what we, what we need to improve in style, in footwork, training. Man, so, you you still win the Spence Porter fight? Spence a uh, uh, porter fight. Um, I think um, Spence has a has an advantage. Spence has an advantage, but it depends how how Porter to prepare for the for the fight. Porter has also a good chance for Spence. It depends how they how they prepare. Um, that that's my my. Uh, well, you said that you don't really watch too many fights at home, but uh, at Spence's last fight, you were sitting ringside. Uh, was was that a fight that you were eyeing before uh, the third round fight was on the table, or were you just there as a spectator and as a fan? I was able to just to watch the. Um, I believe that this. Um, I I know that's going to be a good fight. So. Okay. He was invited. No. I was invited and also. Jerry Jones invited him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Jerry oh, Jerry's Jerry's a big fan. Well, <laughs> what was that like for you sitting ringside uh, watching the game that you had fought there before? I mean, you're the first ever to to, to hold a boxing match there. Uh, brought out tens of thousands of people. Uh, did you get any flashbacks being there in March? Oh yeah, I, 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 when I was there, um, I remember the the. Uh, Margarito fight and um, Clothy fight. <laughs> when you first moved to welterweight, there were fights that were contractually obligated for lower than 147. There was the 145 pound weight for, for Cotto, I think. Do you not do that anymore because you're a, you feel you're a full-fledged welterweight? Or do you just feel like you don't need that extra advantage against these guys? 145, 140? 
The catchweights. The catchweights. Catch like this is there's no catchweights with these fights anymore. Well, why did you move away from that? Well, it's, um, that's the way that they want they want to fight. But I can move 140. You you could still make 140 right now if there's a big enough. Fight oh yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Because <coughs> um, from 135 to 147 is a big. Uh, yeah, when he fought De La Hoya, what you weigh, 42 when he was 47? 142. Oscar was low. He no, was 145. Oscar was 45. But there was no catch with No, no, that just came in light. Is there... Do you expect to come in about 142 this time? 142? What do you expect to weigh for this fight? Yeah, um, I need to weigh like 146, 147, like that. 46, 47. Because it's going to be disadvantage for me if you're going to lower my... Yeah. Freddie, what will you weigh? One <laughs> <laughs> fight. You said that you can still oh, make 140. Ready. Obviously, your last several fights have been... I have only won one fight in 140. Oh. That was that, that fight. Right. I was, I was going to ask you, Senator, what, fight, what fighter would intrigue you to go back down to 140? Do you see a fighter at 35 maybe that could go to 40? Or a fighter that's currently at 140 that would intrigue you to go back down? <coughs> if there's a, a fighter who wants to fight in four, 140, then why not? <laughs> Any, anybody in particular? Uh, maybe Vasilo Mateo? I don't know. <laughs> Mikey's happy with 47. Is 140 the lowest? 135. But, uh, you make 135? That, yeah, a little bit uh, reduced of that. But 140 is okay. Right now, probably 40 is comfortable. Guys, we good? Thank you, Senator. Thank you, sir. Leonard here. Can you go with the manager? Sure. Manny, this is for Tom Brown here. Yeah. Manny, can you look up a quick second? Who would have believed that four years ago? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, now we just need Floyd right here. Let's right? put over. Is Floyd going to come to the Yes, Floyd will be ringside. Floyd's a fan. Big fan. Big fan. Did you love tickets for Floyd? Giving him <laughs> I, think, I, think Floyd, I think Floyd can handle his tickets. I think so, too. Is he going to be at the weigh-in? I don't know. No. That's Floyd, Does that surprise you to see a, a past opponent give advice to a, a future opponent? Yeah, that's good for him. <laughs> Keith, you got a question? Uh, yeah, Manny, do you, I, I know Floyd seems content in retirement now. Leonard has said that many times. Do you still hold out hope, though, that he's going to change his mind and fight you again? Um, I don't know, because um, I'm, act I'm still active and uh, he's retired, so... I think uh, we don't need to bother him, <laughs> right? <laughs> Let him uh, enjoy his retirement. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Manny, thank you. Yeah, but make sure you don't send a picture to Bob. Right? I am. Send it right to Bob. Right, 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 right. What picture is that? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was very nice. Uh, <laughs>